before we get started, I want to point out really fast that I'm so sorry I haven't been posting um, recently, and um, it's just due to school, and then we went out of town, and I just really haven't had the time, so I'm so sorry for that inconvenience, but I'll be posting more. Today's video will be about the good news and the bad news with our animals. There's only one bad news, and it's about the hermit crabs, but the rest are good news, so <laughs> y'all should be super excited. Okay, so as you may have heard by the, thumb, the thumbnail and the title, today's video is going to be the good and the bad news about our animals. So I only have one good news and like one thing for the guinea pigs, and then the rest are pretty much hermit crab based. So we're going to go ahead and get the them started. All right, so the good news with these puppies is that we got them an up cage upgrade. We have themselves a 2x5 CNC cage, which is really big. They have a two by two loft up here. They have a two by like half of one little hut hangout thing over here. And then they have a two by two little like I don't really know what it is, but a little cafe thing where they go to the bathroom and they have all of their stuff and stuff like that. And then obviously I'm trying to get one to go up there so that they y'all can. See the piggies? Piggies. Well, they're not going to go, but those are our good news and our bad news. And, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And moving on to the hermit crabs. Okay, so, oh, my gosh. On to the good news and the bad news about the hermit crabs. So, there's one bad news, which I'll give it over with. I'm really pretty sad about this. I'm starting to get over that. This is one of the reasons I haven't really been posting much lately. Um, so I'm really, um, like, it's okay, but it happened recently, so it's pretty upsetting, but Tiny, er, uh, Chicken Butt unfortunately passed away. He lived a good four years, at least, um, like, around, like, three and a half with us, and then the girl said that he'd been at the Hermit Crab Beach Store for a pretty long time. So, I'm assuming that he at least lived four years, but we were really missing him, and it was quite devastating when I came in the room to find him not so well. The first bit of new good news and the most recent news actually happened while I was out of town. So, actually, first we're going to do something else, then I'll show you the first bit of good news, or the bit of good news. So, we actually switched over to Eco Earth. Um, I really like the, the, the switch. It's pretty nice. Uh, you do need to make sure that it stays moist for them, but I have been seeing a change of, like, this is why I'm filming at night, because they actually do go under the soil now in the day, and then they come up at night, so... That's fun. The next bit of good news is I will be showing all him, but only once in, like, probably ever. I'll be showing him up close. That's just because I don't want to stress the crab up, um, out. But what happened was, I think y'all can guess by this. So, Crystal changed shells, which is so exciting. So, Crystal has gone through a molt and changed shells now, as well as Tiny Tim has also uh, changed. Well, we'll get there. Um, but anyways, crab by crab. So, I'm just going to take him out right now. I've been really trying hard not to. Ooh, there's freaking guinea pig poops in here as well as mold. That's absolutely disgusting so i will not be putting him in there but i want to show y'all him so i will be putting him in this little case thing which uh i really wouldn't recommend putting a crab in because it's just one of the nastier ones but i'm only doing it for a couple of minutes so i think it's going to be fine but and it doesn't have any soil in it which Kind of bad, but it's okay, you know. Hey, buddy, I don't want to stress him out too much. Um, this did happen while I was out of town, so I didn't get to see it 
happen, but he's in a really beautiful natural shell now. It does have a bit of dirt on it. So he changed into a quite bigger shell, old versus new. There they are. I, I'm going to try and show you all up close super fast. But there's a bit of dirt on it, which I really can't get off. But I'll get it off later. But there he is. There he is. And I'm going to put him back now because I really don't want to stress him out. Like, you never want to stress a crab out, y'all, because they get stressed super easily. So there's a little size comparison. Um, I think he's liking his new shell, and I know he's doing absolutely wonderful with it. So... That happened while I wasn't here. That was some really good news that I got to come home to. Um, and I'm honestly just quite excited and I'm proud and stuff. And I'm just, it takes a lot of courage to actually switch shells and stuff. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so our next bit of good news is under a hut, but I don't know. Which, hey buddy, I'm sorry, I don't want to touch you, but I kind of, I can't help it. I'm really sorry, dude. Okay, our next bit of good news is with another crab, obviously, because we are talking about hermit crabs right now. And hermit crabs are so cool animals, so. Next bit of good news is, oh my god, dude, you're going to make this so difficult, ain't you? That sounded so country to me. You're going to make this so difficult, ain't you? Ain't you do with me? Okay. So, the next bit of good news is that actually Tiny Tim came up. He is, I don't know, so I think they crystal molted, but I'm not sure. But he is our only crab that for sure has molted and changed shells. So, he actually got quite a big upgrade when he changed his shells. He went from... If I can grab the... Y'all never met him in his old shell, I don't think. Y'all may have. Not sure, though. I'm pretty sure not. But he got quite a big upgrade, y'all. His old shell, which was this itty-bitty thing, to his new humongous shell, which is not very huge. But there he is. And he's super active. He's probably our most active one, I would, I'd would i say. At least Evan might have a different opinion, but... He's super active and not scared of literally anything. So, oh, Crystal's awake. Morning, Crystal. Morning. Oh, sorry, buddy. And I love when the crabs come up from molt because all of their limbs are actually completely grown back. So that's, it's really nice when they come back from molt. Because their limbs are back. I think that's all of the news that we have. See, here's his old one. Um, it's It was really cute. I loved it. and But it's good. And then it says made in India right there. Which I never knew why exactly it said that. But it's okay. Also, you guys, I do want to say that you want to get the shells that they're not in anymore. You can see them in the background, I think. Uh, yeah. You want to get the, the shells that they're not in anymore out of their cage immediately because they can start eating it, especially if it's painted. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go straight into a little, uh, we're going to be talking about some painted shells super fast. Um, I don't know, I think these are our only changer shells that are painted. And then this one, okay, so we have quite a few changer shells, or only actually three, but... And then two changed out of shells that are painted. But, so basically the bad thing that is about painting is, I'm going to grab crystals for example because I can see that she has done it. When the hermit crabs are in the shell, they're in the shell. Their entire abdomen and everything is in the shell. That's her in there. They will bite off the paint, and the paint is really bad for them. As you can see, there's a bunch of white right there, and I don't know if you can see the white all up here, but that is all from her biting it off, and the acrylic paint is poisonous for them. So, it's really, really terrible. I recommend if you buy a painted shell, which the reason I bought, bought one was 
Because if you buy them painted, then you can switch them over to a unpainted shell. Sorry, Crystal. I'm, I really think I'm stressing her out right now, y'all. Wait, what is that? That right there. Oh, okay, so. But, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Today's video is super duper fun, honestly. And I'm really excited about all these new changes. Um, tomorrow, I will be doing a morning routine. And then the day after that, I believe I'll be doing a night routine. So, it will come out. It will be really cool. Uh, updated morning routine because my morning routine has changed, honestly, quite a bit, man. It's changed a lot. Um, but, yati ya, blah, blah. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys. Sorry, the last few kips is me taking thumbnail pictures. Bye! Say bye to Paul Rowling, just over the nun, you dumb and Karen.